Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your host with the most more powers in the building on T-H-E-M-O-S-H-O-W, Chicago, on a terrible Tuesday morning. I have to jump straight off into this because it's absolutely sad. Every time I put a video up on this channel, lately it has been about Stop the Killing. And obviously there are people out there in Chicago who just don't get the memo. Stop the killing. We just had two young men lose their lives leaving their high school downtown on 17th North State Street. According to the reports in the Chicago Police Department, six students was leaving school for the day around lunchtime hour downtown innovations school of integration innovations uh-huh and when they got out of the school according to the reports two vehicles drove up an suv and a dark car masked gunmen got out and proceeded to shoot Robert Boston who was 16 and Monterio Williams who was 17. Monterio Williams was graduating next year who had plans to go to trade school trying to make something of themselves. However, Chicago is plagued with death. Death is the order of the day. There is no hour that passes in the city of Chicago and violence is not a part of that hour. This is a sad, cancerous city in which we reside. And for people who look like me, it is the sons of these mothers who are crying at every funeral because another son who looked like her son fatally shot and killed her son. You know, Joe Biden is coming out with a new law just for Chicago according to the reports. A universal background check, a red flag check on residents in the city of Chicago. There is no end in sight for this psycho madness that is plaguing the streets of Chicago. Children can't even go to school. Children can't even go to school they just shot a young girl 14 years old over here in the Lawndale area over the weekend when is enough enough when do you regain some common sense when do you stop these mothers from crying? When do you stop taking the lives of fathers, leaving their children fatherless? There are many factors that play a role in what is going on. And you can go vote for whoever you want to go vote for that's not going to change the situation we have to change the situation while you young men are out there killing people you have to ask yourself when you get caught is it worth you going to prison for the rest of your entire life what's really sad is that most men of color today that look like me don't care about 
their life today. They have no value for not only someone else's life, but they don't have any value for their own life because they caught up in a system that is a cesspool of death every day. You know how they say, no rest for the wicked? There has been no rest here in the city of Chicago. Downtown used to be one of the safest places that you can be in Chicago, but now even downtown is becoming a war zone. More shootings, more deaths are taking place downtown than ever before. Where can you go in Chicago to be safe? Probably at the airport now. <laughs> you going to jail, you clown in that airport. And that's federal time, okay? Why do we have to live in a city where young men are beasts in human form? Yes, that is where their mindset is at. Because of the demonic energy. Demonic energy. That plays a great part of it. And the demonic music. Yes, Chicago is the city of gangsters. But it's also the city of gangsters. Gangsters and gangsters. Two different things. We'll get off into a video about that after we finish this one. But I tell you, mass incarcerations are going to go through the roof. All of you who are out there on Demon Time, making everyone cry, your day is coming. And what's really sad about it is that those murderers out there is going to make it real, real bad when these new laws come into play. So you better understand the new laws that are being instituted here in the state of Illinois. You might as well become a lawyer and study law. If not, you may find yourself in jail, especially if you're one of those gun bunnies, meaning shooters, meaning killers. Two-year-olds can't even come outside. They're getting shot in the face while they're in their own house. Ain't nobody safe in Chicago. Cops are not safe. Firemen I get are not safe. Everybody's getting robbed. Everybody's getting carjacked. Everybody's getting murdered. People are afraid to even go to their jobs. Damn. How can you make a living if you're scared to go to work every day? I'm just saying. Do you think that martial law is coming to Chicago? I do. Do you think that more harsh laws are coming to the city of Chicago? I do. Do you think that it is all a plan for mass incarceration? I do. And rightfully so for the killers. They should never see the light of day when people can't even come out their own house, go to school, go to work, go to a car wash, go to a movie theater. Hell, just walking down the street with your girl and your children. Shots ring. It's called Chirac for a reason. Chicagoans, we need to stop the killing. Stop the killing. Your son or your daughter may be next.
Talk to your children. Sit them down. Don't be afraid of them. You allow them or groom them or help groom them to be the way that they are. If the fruit don't fall too far from the tree, that means we're doing a very bad job with children. When we can't even control our children. And there's no one doing this to us but us. And the world is sitting back watching and waiting. for your demise because as Dr. John Henry Clark says we have no friends not even among our own selves apparently because many people who look like me can't stop killing someone who looks like them sad but true leave your comments in the comment section it's your host with the most M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z on T-H-E-M-O-S-H-O-W Chicago where the execution of knowledge is power. You think about that you all. Stop the killing. It's a sad day in Chicago. Thanks for viewing you all. Peace out and never give up on your D-R-E-A-M-S.